Welcome to this video, my name is Eva and in this video I want to talk about Steve and Miranda from Sex and the City because I, yeah, so I was sick, <laughs> so I watched the TV show and I'm not talking about the new one, I haven't watched the new one, I think it's not good and also the movies, I really didn't really watch them. I'm talking about the TV show that has already been out there for 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 some decades now, for a lot of years, but I really found that dynamic so, 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 so fascinating to see and I think even if you don't know nothing about the TV show it doesn't matter um, because it's really just about the dynamic so who's Steve, who's Miranda? Miranda is um, basically this character in this TV show and she's very successful, very ambitious she's a lawyer and she's very hardworking, kind of workaholic but she loves it and I think um, that's her attribute that she's really fierce and she loves to work and she loves her work and she loves to to succeed basically and then who's Steve? Steve um, is a bartender in in a bar <laughs> you know and he's really content with his life like he doesn't have that huge aspiration and determination and drive that um, that Miranda has and I think that's the, the that's the dynamic so what happens is they meet in a bar and Miranda um, is already like a little bit frustrated with, with kind of some friendship stuff and then Steve you know he's he's there for her and I think in the beginning it's I think it's really cute because you see those two people who are so different like this really driven Miranda um, who lacks a little bit of that um, warmth and that um, laissez-faire mentality and then you have Steve who is completely opposite, who, who lacks this drive and ambition, but who has this warmth and just this, this ease about life. And in, I think in the beginning it's really cute because you see two people complementing each other, so bringing out the best in each other in the early stages. So Steve helps Miranda to calm down and Miranda maybe helps Steve to, I don't know, clean up a little bit or... So, but, but really cute in the beginning, but what happens, in my opinion, when, when the relationship progresses, is that um, it? I think it turns out really bad because I feel like you have two people who are so different. You have someone who's also financially so different because Miranda invested so much into her career. So obviously she has a lot more money and Steve is just content with um, a job that doesn't make so much money, at least for him. And But he's uh, content about it. So you have two different people with two very different lifestyles, two very different... Um, personality traits to very different economic um, kind of positions also and so you see two people who are very different and I think they really have this connection and they want to make it work and I think that for me it was an example of someone losing herself like in my opinion Miranda losing herself in that relationship because what happens is that when you're in a relationship you want like in the end, you for the relationship to work, you have to find common ground, you have to find common activities, you have to connect and that is great when two people are similar. For example, how do you want to spend the weekend? And one person loves to um, watch TV on the weekend and just hang out and go to the park and the other person desperately either wants to travel a lot and wants to explore or wants to um, you know, work and, and make money and advance in, in a career, build a business, has this grand vision for for their company, uh, it's, it, it's really hard to make it compatible. Uh, whereas if you have two people who's who just like to go um, on the weekend to the gym, it's more co more compatible. Or two people who like to watch TV on the weekend and, and just relax and, and cook, also more compatible. And I think you... At least for me, I really saw that that Miranda tried to fit into Steve's life by adopting his habits, and you saw how it made her miserable. Like she, for example, there was this one scene where Steve was watching TV, and Miranda tried to watch TV, but obviously she's just a whole different character. So she she tried to study also and so you feel I felt like watching it she tried to fit into Steve's life but deep down she knew it was not right for her and 
and so I felt a little bit sad and I, it, it just really reminded me that love is really not enough, chemistry is not enough, attraction is not enough, love is not enough because they both clearly loved each other, the love was there for sure, both cared so much about the other person but it's still not enough, um, compatibility really is the king um, and you really have to take responsibility for yourself and see if we are compatible, do I lose myself in a relationship? And I, I was always, before, I always, I never knew, when someone said, mm, I lost myself in a relationship, I never knew what it meant. And I think now, I think, I understand it a little bit more, that you start to do things that you don't really enjoy, and then you end up in a relationship and you just feel miserable, because you, you, you are not yourself anymore, you don't do the things that you enjoy anymore. And yeah, so I think it's so important to look in the mirror and have a really hard conversation with yourself and getting to know yourself also. What is important in for you? What do you value? Do you value family? Can you see yourself as a mom or can you see yourself more as a business person? And there is no right or wrong. I think society tries to judge people for a different value system, but you cannot change. You, you get a certain character from when you were born, from universe, whatever, and you cannot change that. So I'm, for example, a more entrepreneurial person, and if you put me into a classroom to be a teacher for children, I would literally hate my life because it's just not me. But if you put me more in a company and where I can make certain decisions and maybe help, help the company grow in some ways, I would thrive. So I think that's so, so, so important to, to recognize that you cannot change who you are. You you either have to like either you follow that or you get miserable. And I think that you have to understand who you are and you also have to recognize that you cannot change and also your partner cannot change. So Steve, I think both of them tried to make the other person into another person. So Steve tried to make Miranda, who was this ambitious career woman, into more of a housewife. And Miranda tried to make Steve a little bit to fit into her world, which was this corporate law world of high ambitious people. And I think it's n not possible, you cannot change another person. You have to see, you have to get to know the other person and you have to say, okay, no matter how much I love this person, are we compatible? Do I feel, do we actually match? And yeah, so I think that was really, really uh, kind of, Great or interesting for me to see that relationship dynamic. Also, I think that um, Steve, I, I think when I first watched the TV show, I was thinking, oh, Steve is so cool and so nice. And now that I watch it again, I feel like Steve is such a man child. So he's he doesn't take any responsibility. And then at one point, there was one scene where Miranda was basically cooking and taking care of the child and working full time and taking care of the mom of Steve and Steve was just sitting there and like a child doing absolutely nothing and I think that was also another dynamic that, that at least I noticed in a relationship was that child mom dynamic so Miranda was really like a mom to Steve and probably both should go to therapy and like uh, heal that, that parts where Miranda says okay why do I feel like I want to be like a mom because of course it's not fulfilling you don't want to be a mom to someone you want to be a girlfriend um, but why do I have the need to to mother them to mother my partner is it maybe as a child I had that kind of dynamic that I um, got love when I took care of my mom or I took care of my dad or I took care of my siblings and that's how I felt important and for Steve also he should go to therapy and maybe ask himself why do I feel like um, I I behave like a child and I don't take any responsibility and I'm not a full adult like what happened maybe I was always the youngest child and everyone took care of me and so I never had any responsibilities really or what is it and what dynamic do we have do we want to have in a in a relationship no so <coughs> so yeah I think that that's really important and I think for Miranda also because she was such in a in a like in, the, in that energy of just this masculine energy that she could do everything alone and she should do everything alone and I think that's why she got together with someone who's has this, who is on this other extreme, who ha who lacks ambition but who has this very like feminine and caring 
uh, in a way attitude and I think what would maybe help Miranda is if she would um, learn those traits within herself to say okay I maybe want to go more into the feminine in some ways in saying that I want how can I like through therapy how can I develop this feminine like this this warmth within myself and then if she has maybe already incorporated that then she could actually meet someone and be with someone who's who's not so different in in that extreme but who's still maybe in the, in the corporate world who also loves to work a lot uh, doesn't want to have children like her <laughs> and um, is not really a family person but has still that that certain warmth where where the discrepancy is not so it's not so big where it's not the two extremes but where people are more similar and for Steve maybe as well for Steve maybe he should kind of ask himself how can I get a little bit more into that masculine a little bit more yeah a little bit more less being a child <laughs> and then he maybe could find a partner who who is also a little bit more similar to him so yeah really really interesting relationship dynamic I think it was just so fascinating to see it um, to see what happens if you marry someone or if you get involved with someone who's so different and how it can actually really in my opinion uh, really yeah kind of harm your life because for Miranda she I think she lost herself in that relationship of course then the writers changed some things blah 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 but but in that dynamic I think for sure she ended up miserable um, because she just they were so far so different and I think both making compromises made both miserable so I think it's important if you're with a partner to have some similarities so for example if you're a workaholic be together with another person who's also workaholic so that you can be workaholics together don't be together with someone who demands a lot of care and a lot of time together be if you love work and there's nothing wrong per se with being a workaholic if you just have so much passion for your career you should be with someone who also has so much passion with, for his career or her career maybe you can start a business together you can both work in a business together or if you're someone who doesn't care at all about career just be with someone who also and cares a lot more about family for example be with someone who has this value system as well and yeah so what do you think <laughs> have you maybe had those experiences that you went together with someone with very different value systems and you lost yourself in a relationship and after some years you just woke up and you felt like oh my god this is my life now I hate it um, yeah, what is your opinion on this whole relationship? Um, I would love to hear. Write it down in the comment section. And yes, I hope you have a beautiful day. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And yeah, and also maybe check out the link in the description box to see if I have any offers. And yes, have a beautiful day.